here's my top five animals super rare that i want to find in the uk number one top of the list is Oi! Now I know for some of you that's going to be exciting, you like that series, it's coming back. We've got a stake in the woods, but obviously for this video, that's not why we're here today. Today, I'm going to be talking you through the five animals that I want to find that are super rare in the UK. So come along with me while we do it. I've got the big lens, I'll show you that. As always kids, make sure you take your rubbish back with you. All right, we're looking pretty good. Now, before we get into the actual countdown of the animals, the top five animals that are rare in the UK that I want to find, um, I'm going to let you know what we're doing in today's video. So I've got the camera, I've got the long lens out today. I'm going to be searching for some badgers, some muntjac deer, some foxes. And if I can see them, hopefully try and video them. Get some footage for you guys in this video. Um, the chances are slim. So I've, I've walked my way over to a badger set, which is just over there. So I'm going to like, stake this out for a little bit and maybe just maybe i'll see something but chances are quite slim although i did spot all of these look look at all these mushrooms look at all of these now i don't know anything about mushrooms so i don't know like if that's good or bad but it looks cool and then i found this little one which i've actually lost as i'm about to show you where is it there it is found this little diddy one look at that pretty cute and that isn't it you might be able to see this actually can you see this so basically the idea is when i'm filming this microphone is going to face me so i can film it and i can talk directly into the microphone so there's like a little running commentary first things first i gotta find something that i can actually talk about but first here's my top five animals super rare that i want to find in the uk number one top of the list is killer whales orcas just amazing creatures right and i think a lot of people in the uk wouldn't actually know that orcas are here like orcas killer whales mate shamu do you know what i mean like just madness animals right and you can actually find them all around the uk but more specifically in scotland so we're talking like the shetland islands uh the north of scotland the west of scotland when i was there in september and this was so frustrating because it would have been absolutely unreal um i was in ardnamurkin right which is a it's a peninsula on the west coast and they can sort of travel in and around that area and um there was one point we were like honestly five miles away from them at one point so we stayed on the southern part of the peninsula right at the very edge and then on the uh, the northern part they were seen crossing through that bit when we were on the southern part and it was just oh my god so frustrating we weren't actively looking for them but to hear that mate we were devastated proper proper devastated but you know is what it is so they they are definitely high on my list of animals that i want to see i think that would be absolutely unreal and imagine that for animal anomalies oh my god the intro animal anomalies the killer whale no badgers unfortunately ah oh well is what it is but currently we've got the camera set up here looking through out to there although there is nothing now it's like all the wildlife has spotted me come in or heard me come in as for I'm gonna leave. Cookie's making a video. We're not gonna be in it. So with that said, might as well move on to my second animal. And now this one, again, lives in the water. Again, lives on the coasts and around, I suppose. And again, can be found mainly in Scotland. And this one is the basking shark. One of the biggest sharks in the world. And we have that on the UK shores. And it's uh, commonly mistaken for a great white shark because the dorsal fins sort of look the same. I sort of got a uh, quite a very similar look to them and i've just seen some birds actually so i'm gonna film these because it needs to show you some wildlife at least got some female ducks and then over this way oh he's gone the male duck he is behind there you annoyance bottoms up so while we've got these ducks on the screen i might as well keep talking to you about the the basking shark now again one of the world's biggest sharks it's absolutely colossal we have them in the uk coasts um mainly around the west coast of scotland pushing northern ireland as well they can be seen quite pretty much everywhere you know like they're, they're quite a, a common thing but again another one of those animals that people just don't associate with the uk and i just love to be able to go and find one of those you know like they're, they're so big so massive but also at the same time so gentle they don't eat um big fish or anything like that they eat plankton like they're basically a whale you know <laughs> but uh they are a shark now that would be amazing and the problem with uh trying to find like orcas or 
um, basking sharks is the money it's the money involved in actually trying to do it so i really did look into looking at basking sharks this year but it just was not going to be it's way too much money to like potentially not see anything you know so i couldn't i couldn't get myself to do it unfortunately but maybe next year it could be something i definitely do but we'll have to go and see move forward in life and see where we're at next year but it's definitely something i want to do 100 percent i want to try and find something exciting hopefully a munt jack's gonna appear soon or a badger or a fox anything like that let's move on anyway and i'll try and tell you about the third one that i want to find right so we're having a bit of a shambles here i can't find anything to film and i'm a bit disappointed that ducks duck ducks are the only things that i've filmed so far which is a uh, it's not great so i'm in the middle of like the best spot i think to find like foxes badgers and deer this is usually where i come and i usually see something so i'm just going to state this out but as you can see by that sun is going down it's like three o'clock now so i've only got about an hour left anyway number three on the rare animals in the uk that i would love to find is going to be the chinese water deer yeah we've got chinese water deer in this country as you can guess they're from china <laughs> but um yeah a really interesting creature right it's it looks sort of prehistoric it's really it's really weird it's got fangs basically it's got tusks and uh it's really quite strange to see that on a deer and um they're quite fuzzy looking as well they're just sort of a weird looking animal but something i would love to go and film now in this country they're usually found in like norfolk uh, maybe bedfordshire as well and you know what i think whipsnade is is a key uh factor in a lot of these animals making it over to this country not well whipsnade and the surrounding area because back in the day whipsnade released a few of these animals into the grounds around um such as like uh chinese water deer wallabies maras because uh, they're grazing animals and it was supposed that they would go about and do a bit of grazing and then um they'd do all right but they got replaced eventually by sheep so uh, muntjac deer for example have stemmed from woburn which is about 10 miles away from uh whipsnade so that area you know key for like certain animals like this making it into the country muntjac deer as well which i'm trying to find right now um is another one like from like that sort of asian region but um yeah chinese water deer back on that <laughs> that's a big one i would want to find and again i think a really cool one just on how it looks like people know we've got deers right it's quite quite obvious people don't know we've got deers with tusks <laughs> with big saber-toothed deers you know so i think that would be a great video it would be wicked to see i've never seen one um even in a zoo actually no i have seen them in the zoo whipsnade zoo have got some but um you didn't have any big ones they only had little ones so i really would like to see an adult one with big tusks uh maybe in the norfolk broads or something like that that would be wicked there goes a pigeon wow why didn't i get that yeah we got a squirrel Wow. Okay, we've got two squirrels. One in the front, one at the back. This is about as interesting as wildlife as I've seen so far. Right then, number four is going to be uh, a native animal, which is, I think, all of these except for the Chinese water deer. Oh, no, I knew the one, the next one. But this native animal is going to be the Scottish wildcat, right? And that is probably probably definitely most probably the rarest animal in the whole entire united kingdom and this is an animal that's properly facing extinction in this country there's about 50 60 maybe up to 100 of them left in the wild in scotland right and it's a cat <laughs> so you're not gonna see it it's a cat with a bad attitude as well um so you imagine you're like moggies at home and that whoever's watching this you can imagine your little tabbies your moggies your little mittens and kittens and all that um they're just a little bit bigger than that right but they've got a bad attitude and they've got angry faces and uh they make a good hissing sound it sounds like a little gunshot so i went to the highland wildlife park in scotland uh, to get a closer look at scottish wildcats i'd never seen one before and um they had some kittens there which was really cool uh, <laughs> and one of them when i sort of put the gopro up to it it uh, gave me a good hiss it did not like me whatsoever but uh, that was really cool and i would love to go and have a search for those in the wild in scotland chances of finding one are like remote to none um but i think it would be such a cool video going exploring like the highlands of scotland and potentially finding a scottish wildcat i say potentially again chances are 
uh, just not it's just not gonna happen is it it's just quite simple but uh, yeah that's number four on my list finally found something worth talking about and it's this heron he's about 50 meters away from me it's just chilling in the field a bit closer is the river but um yeah look at him he's all pretty look at that eh what a pretty bird i was looking at it like is that a bit of grass he's like is that a grass mound and then um i got the camera out to have a look and nope we've got a heron so actually something worthwhile filming you know like i was really getting a bit concerned that the only thing i was going to film was a squirrel and a duck but at least a heron look at that what a spectacular animal at least the heron is something to be proud of actually seeing in the wild um i wonder what he's doing in the field though he just seems to be oh there he goes he's off look he's off he's off can i follow him Nah, ruin that. No, oh, oh, I was so close. He's too fast for me. Number five on my list of the top five animals that are rare in the UK that I want to find. I will work on that title, definitely, because that was shocking. So number five is going to be the Siberian chipmunk. And again, another one, it's got the location in its name, usually found in Siberia, but it has like sort of came over to Europe and Asia and stuff and made itself a little home over there. And it got his, I think it got his way all the way over to France. I can't remember how it got to France. I think it might have been reintroduced or sorry, introduced into France. And um, from there, the rumor is it came through the Channel Tunnel uh, through France over to England. And now they are on the uh, the eastern, southeastern coast of England, which would be Kent. And there's about a thousand in this country. Apparently, I haven't seen much data to back this up or much footage to back this up but i think it's a really interesting one i'm trying to do the research on it now but yeah chipmunks really cool looking things they're like squirrels but stripy and just cute you know they're quite small diddy little things and i think that'd be wicked to go and try and find a few of them in kent if they're still there you know um but i do need to research that one i think that would be lovely you know imagine that just nice little animal anomalies the chipmunk <laughs> that would be really cool but yeah that's going to be my list that's going to be my five so we've got the killer whale we've got the basking shark we've got the chinese water deer the scottish wildcat and then to finish it off the siberian chipmunk five animals that potentially could be an animal anomalies in the future and i think would be really cool what do you guys think about my list anyway are there other animals that you think i should add on to that list um judging by today i probably won't find any of them because this has been a shocker in it try to try to find something not not going very well but anyway if you've enjoyed leave a like if you've uh, enjoyed and you're not subscribed subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next one okay stay tuned